guys yes so today on the catholics we are here with the late saint joan of arc so everyone say hello to saint joan okay so let's get right into the interview saint joan could you please tell us what day you were born, what day you died, and what day you were canonized to become a saint? Uh, yes. So, I was born um, January 6th, 1412, and I died May 30th, 1431, so I was only 19 when I died. And I was canonized on May 16th, 1920. Wow, that's so interesting. I can't believe we have someone that old here on the show. Okay, so let's get right into the interview. So, what, what are you most known for? Well, at the age of 18, I led the French army to victory over the English in Orleans. And then, um... I got captured a year later and... That is so pure! Oh! Before you become a, or after you die and you become a saint, you have to have three miracles performed. What were those three miracles? Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, um, I helped Sister Therese of St. Augustine I cured her of um, leg ulcers. Then after that, I cured Sister Julie Gothier. I cured her of um, cancerous ulcers in her breast, in her left breast. And then lastly, I cured Mr. Mary Sagir of stomach cancer. What um, heroic virtues are you known for demonstrating? I think that um, I was very courageous in leading the French against the English because before I was just a simple farm girl who was very naive and ignorant to everything. So that was very heroic, I would say. Wow, it's so inspiring. Now, what aspects of your life would you say you find most interesting? I found it very interesting that I just kept hearing voices on the farm telling me to lead people towards something. And at first, I didn't know what it was. But then later on, I realized that it was actually God telling me to go and lead the people. So I did. So. For the people who didn't know about you, what kind of stuff was going on during that time period? That time period. Around the time that I was born, um, King Henry V was currently reigning in England. And then later on, another Henry V became the heir to the French throne. That was basically all. It was mostly about me in that time. How did you go about spreading Christ's countercultural message? Well, around the time that I was alive, it was mostly just men who were allowed to um, lead people and actually have followers. So, me being a woman, I find that um, it's very countercultural that I led an army of people to basically war and won it so cool what difficulty did you face on your mission well I mean everyone when I tried to uh, get it cleared to like, actually go to war Everyone said that I couldn't do it because I was a little farm girl who wasn't capable of doing anything to help the worth of everyone else. 
So I proved them wrong in showing them that I actually can do something. Oh, wow, your fierce journey is very tough. I could see how it's very, very difficult. So could you possibly tell us your faith journey? I had a very firm belief of God as a child. He was very helpful to me as a child. And um, throughout my teens, um, I just worked on the farm a lot. I still believed in God, but that's when the voices started coming around. So I kind of thought that I was talking to God a lot more, but wasn't really realizing it until later on, until I was actually like, about to be burned at the stake. So yeah, that's my faith journey for you. Not very much to say because I was only 19 when I died. This has been our time with St. Joan of Arc. You're welcome. Hope you enjoyed our time today on the Catholics. Go forth and be saints.